without fannying around for too long, yeah? Oh my god! Woo! <laughs> God! Trying to kill me. Slightly terrifying. All right then, see what it's all about. I've got to say, my initial impression is that it's not quite as comfortable as the Street Triple doesn't feel quite as natural when you're sitting on it. Having said that, the throttle is very, very smooth. Very nice to pull away. The quick shifter, you don't even realize it's working. And uh, I haven't even introduced you guys to what I'm actually riding here. Maybe you guys can work it out because you're not stupid. Um, this is the Brutali Dragster 800RR in the MV Augusta. And I have been very excited to have a little test of one of these. <laughs> Ever since I uh, tried out the Street Triple RS and loved it to bits, I've been uh, considering my options because I've always loved the look of, uh, of one of these bikes. Uh, yep, the, the quick shifter is immensely smooth, just like the Street Triple. The other thing they mentioned to me just before I took it out was, oh, by the way, Neither of the rear indicators are working, so uh, no one knows where you're going. Just watch out for that. Yep, this bike definitely uh, wasn't built for the kind of commute down an A road, that's for sure. Ugh, what the fuck was that? Ugh. Okay, suspension test. <laughs> Suspension test fail. are going numb not sure if it's the the coat or the gloves or what but my right arm is going numb and it's not because i'm holding the throttle too tight it's not because i'm putting all my weight on my wrist or anything like that before you all say it because i'm not i'll be honest i'm not used to filtering this FYI, I've loosened my glove and my hand is no longer numb, which is nice. But, I am basically on fire right now.
This was an error. Stop. 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 some breeze right into my nadgers which is where it was getting a bit toasty so let's have a quick look while we are here <sighs> right here we are look at this stunning bike the MV Augusta Brutale Dragster 800RR this is the old model now, so this isn't the Euro 4 version, uh, but this is what they've given me to go and have a little blast on, see what it's like. And uh, this, this is the best looking bike that there is, right? There is no better looking bike than this. I don't really have anything to say about it to be honest. Um, what can you say about it? It's awesome. I haven't had much of a chance to uh, open it up yet. But so that is what we're on our way to do now. And try and find some nice places out in the Kent countryside before we take it back. So, without fannying around for too long here, Let's crack on. Woo! <laughs> That's, uh, well, nice little power wheelie. Oh my word, that I was not expecting. My cyclist picking rubbish. Tractor country. Garden of England. Casually along the road in second. All right. I will try. I mean, oh, the street triple. I don't think it came close to doing that. Trying to kill me. wheelies there's no stopping it absolutely no stopping it and that was pretty much all the fun that I had and shortly after that battery cut out so that was good <laughs> um, but what I did do was talk to myself without the camera running about what I thought about the bike so let me give you a debrief now Basically, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. it. It's really great to ride, sounds great, looks amazing. Um, it is slightly terrifying. Um, you know, once you get into the power and the front wheel comes up. Um, so, what I would say is that for 15 grand as the RS, uh, sorry, as the uh, RR version is, I think now that you've got the street triple there, 
it's quite difficult to justify spending an extra five grand for an extra well 15 horsepower which doesn't sound like a lot but actually when you're full throttle like I said and you get to 6,000 revs and the power kicks in and that front wheel comes up oh you notice it you notice it but exactly that right that extra 15 horsepower all it does in the MV is um, bring that front wheel up and means that that power isn't really usable other than if you want to do wheelies which some people might but for me it, it just means that you can't open the throttle all the way and have the fun that you want to have without breaking the law and risking your life <laughs> so Like I said, I love the bike. I'm not gonna say a bad word against it, but for me, I think to save five grand and get the uh, get the Street Triple RS is the way forwards. And actually, um, I do think that the RS handles better. I do. So that's the other thing. Actually, there's not a lot in it, I don't think. And, and it's probably not a fair comparison because I had a long time out on the RS in great country roads like this to really get used to the handling and throw it around a bit. Um, whereas the MV, I didn't really get that opportunity. So it's probably not quite a fair comparison. However, for now, and I'll say for now because I am tempted to go and have another test ride on the MV just to just to convince myself that the looks aren't enough to make me want to actually uh, whack out an extra five grand on it. Um, I might go and have an extra test ride around the Bury St Edmunds dealership, which should have some nicer roads to test it out on. But for now, I actually think the RS has better handling. So, so yeah, there you go, that's my thoughts. I love it. Probably going to test ride it again just to make sure I don't want it. But at the moment, I'm feeling the RS in that street triple so once again guys I hope you enjoyed the vlog and we'll see if we can't get you out a few more vlogs before the summer's finished Ugh. technically speaking I think the summer is finished Because we are now in September. I don't know. When is the technical end of summer? If it's not now, then it is soon. Uh, this shit again. Waiting in that queue. 
Jesus.